Hi guys, it's Sarah here with you for another Make a Monday session. Now today we're going to do an activity that I really, really love. We're going to make time capsules. And the thing that I love about time capsules is it's kind of like sending yourself something to open in the future. So it's kind of like traveling through time. So to make your time capsule, you can really just use anything that you have at home. Um, you're wanting to use a container, um, so something like a shoebox. Uh, if you're wanting it to be a bit sturdier or last a bit longer, maybe something like a jar. I've just used um, an old Pringles packet and I've decorated it. So the first thing to do, find a suitable container and give it some really, really nice decoration. If it had something like chips in it, you're going to want to wash it out because I'm actually going to make my time capsule and I'm not going to open it for 30 years. So I'm not going to open mine until the year 2050. So I don't imagine that Pringles will still smell really nice in 2050. So you've got your container and you've decorated it. Uh, now it's your time capsule, so you can put anything that you would uh, like to put in it. I'm just going to show you a few examples of what I'm going to put in my time capsule. And then what we're going to do is seal it up and uh, put it somewhere in a safe place where you won't lose it. Now traditionally you could bury time capsules, but with mine I'm just going to put it in a cupboard somewhere or somewhere in my house and then patiently wait 30 years to open it. <laughs> okay, so some ideas of what you can put in your capsule. What I've done for mine is I've written down some information about my past. So we've gone back 30 years ago to the year 1990. Then I've written down some information about today. And then I'm going to write down what I think the world will be like in 30 years time, so the year 2050. So, some examples of what you can write about the past. I've put um, what the year was, in 1990, I was five years old, where I was born, which was Dubbo, grew up in Wellington, uh, my favourite food, which was anchovy paste, which is um, a really strange favourite food, I think, when you're five years old, and my favourite book, which is really important, um, which was Matilda by Roald Dahl. I travelled by school bus, because I couldn't drive just yet. And when I grew up, I wanted to be a writer and someone who works with books, which is what I'm really lucky to be doing here at Macquarie Regional Library. And then you can either, um, if you have an old photo of yourself, like I do from kindergarten or from however old you were in the past, you can attach that there, or maybe you could even draw a photo of yourself as well. So let's roll this one up, pop it into the time capsule. Now you don't have to do the past if you don't want to, you can just do the present and the future, but because I'm getting a bit old, I've got lots of different memories of the past. Um, so for the present, we're gonna write today's date. So the date that I'm doing my time capsule, which is today, which is Monday the 15th of June, 2020. My age, which is 34. Um, you can write things like your height, your shoe size, um, Today, in the present, I travel by car, I drive my own car. Uh, three words to describe me. Now, I asked Jade, who's our camera lady, to describe me in three words, and she said bubbly, loud, and funny. So I wonder if um, in 30 years' time, people will still use those words to describe me. Um, and then a, f a photo of yourself in the present. So I've got a photo that was taken a couple of weeks ago with two of my favorite books. Something that is popular today. So I've put down flossing. I don't know if anyone watching knows how to floss and taking selfies so again I wonder if those things will be popular in 30 years time or whether it will change what do you reckon I think it'll probably change if you have today's uh, newspaper or a magazine from from the present you can you could put a snippet from that as well maybe the front page of the newspaper you could also put in a picture of your family or a drawing of your family or you could trace your hand I'm gonna put a fingerprint in so I've just got a, an ink pad here, whoops. And I'm just gonna put my thumbprint on my sheet for the present. And it'll probably change in 30 years as well. So again, you can put whatever you'd like to document about the present day. That's mine done, so I'm gonna roll it up and put it in. And then we come to what I think is the fun part, is our future. So trying to predict the future. So I've set mine for 30 years, but you might set yours for 50 years, or you might even just set it for one year and see if anything changes. So in the future, the year will be 2050. 
I will be 64. I will work as probably, hopefully, a, maybe a children's book author. And I will live. These are just things that I've put down on my sheet that I want to fill out. I will live, I think, by the ocean. Or maybe in a 13 story tree house like Andy and Terry, if I can still climb all those ladders when I'm 64. I will travel by, what do you guys think in 30 years? Maybe we will travel by hovercraft or flying car or spaceship. And then I would love to see something invented. So you could think about what you'd love to see invented in 30 years, because in my 34 years, I've seen lots of cool inventions. I would love to see a chocolate tree invented. So a tree that just grows chocolate and we can just pick chocolate off the leaves. So if someone can invent that in the next 30 years, that would be really, really cool. So then you can maybe, you could maybe do a drawing about what you think the world will look like when you open your time capsule or add anything else. Or you could get maybe a friend to write something down or a letter that they want you to read when you open the capsule. It's really up to you. And that's what I love about this activity. So you're sending something to future you. So there's the future in this green piece of paper and goes into our capsule as well. You can also put um, any trinkets or any favourite objects that you might have. Just be aware that once you're putting it in the capsule, you won't see it again. So I won't see this again for 30 years. I'm going to put my favourite pen in the time capsule because um, it's actually run out of ink. So I'll see how that survives in the capsule for 30 years. Any other photos that you want to put in there or maybe you could make something. You could make a little trinket or a friendship bracelet or something like that and pop it in. I've got everything that I want in this now, so I'm going to seal it up. So to seal it really, really well, you could put some hot glue on the lid or a lot of tape around the lid. And then we're going to, to date it, and this is really important. So we want to capture when we made this and when we want to open it. So for my time capsule was created on the 15th of June. 2020 so created 15th of the 6th 2020 and open on the 15th of the 6th 2050 so now we play the waiting game for 30 years and we'll come back and open our time capsules so what do you guys think? Do you have a suggestion of something else that I could put in my time capsule? Or maybe you know a really, really good book about time travel. If you do, please post it in the comments below. And I hope you have lots of fun sending yourself a message into the future. Thank you for joining me for Maker Monday and we'll see you next week.